Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to walk through the process of installing Snipit, a powerful open source asset management system, on Ubuntu 22.04. Asset management is crucial for businesses to keep track of their resources efficiently, and Snipit makes this task easier. So, let's dive into the installation process. You can install Snipit on your local server or on a VPS or dedicated server. A VPS provides remote access to your Snipit installation. This is particularly useful for organizations with distributed teams or for individuals who need to manage assets from different locations. You can access your Snipit instance from anywhere with an internet connection. While installing Snipit on a VPS provides numerous benefits, the choice ultimately depends on your specific needs, budget, and technical expertise. It's important to choose a reputable VPS hosting provider like Rose Hosting and configure your server securely to ensure the optimal performance and security of your Snipit installation. If you are on a budget, you can use a VPS provider like Hawk Host that provides VPS solutions for as low as $5. You can check if you're running Ubuntu 22.04 by running this command. Run the following command to ensure that all installed packages on the server are upgraded to their latest available version. Next, install PHP along with the required extensions by running this command. We'll use Composer to manage Snipe's dependencies. Run these commands in the terminal. Next, move the Composer executable by running this command. Use this command to check the Composer version you have installed. Let us now install the Maria database. The default configuration of the Maria database is not secure. To secure the database, run the following command. Let us log in and create a database as well as a user. Before we create a new user, let us check the users that are currently on the database. Make sure to create a strong password for the user. Let us give the new user all privileges on the database.
Let us install and configure Nginx if you want you can install the Apache web server. Upon installation, Nginx will initiate automatically and is pre-configured to start on system reboot. Create a new configuration file. Paste the following information and replace example.com with your server's domain name or public IP address. If you are installing on a VPS or dedicated server on the cloud, you can purchase a cheap VPS from Namecheap and then create a record pointing to your VPS server. Press Ctrl X to save and exit the file once you are done making changes. Restart Nginx to apply the changes you made. Run the following command to check the status of Nginx as you can see it is running just fine. Navigate to the root directory of your web server using this command. Use the following command to clone the Snipe GitHub repository and store the contents in the Snipe directory. Switch to the Snipeit directory. Snipeit ships with a sample configuration file. Copy it and edit the configuration file. Under Basic App Settings, enter your app URL and time zone and then enter your database information. Set the correct ownership and permission for the Snipeit data directory. Install Snipe dependencies using Composer. You might encounter a warning advising against running the command as root. It is acceptable to proceed as root for the Snipe installation, so enter yes and press enter.
Once the composer finishes running, generate a Laravel app key value. Open your web browser and access the setup wizard by entering your server's IP or domain name, as specified in the configuration file. Cannot access the setup wizard let me test the Nginx configuration if it is correct. Everything looks fine. The firewall is enabled and it is blocking port 80 and 443. Open the ports in the firewall. Let us now try accessing the wizard again. We can now proceed with the installation just follow the instructions. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Snipe on Ubuntu 22.04. The next thing you need to do is install an SSL certificate if you have installed on a VPS or dedicated server. Watch the video in the description on how to install an SSL certificate. On the domain part when installing the certificate enter the full domain name. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.